Use a decentralized exchange to get hold of those low cap altcoins. Very often in the YouTube comments below, I see people asking for altcoin trader to list this coin or to list that coin, and they want us to list the coins before they actually pump. And with over 13,000 cryptocurrencies currently in existence, I think you'll understand that it's fair that we cannot list every altcoin that customers request before it pumps. And very often as a centralized exchange, we have to wait for this coin to prove itself before we can actually list it on the exchange. One of the solutions that you can do, one of the things that you can participate in is the use of a decentralized exchange to get those low cap gems before they go parabolic. And that's what we're going to be discussing in this morning's video. Good morning, everybody. Now, if we have a quick look at what the cryptocurrencies, we can see over 13,000. Any exchange that's going to list a coin is going to want this coin to to a certain extent have proved itself before we list it. But that might be detrimental to someone who's followed a project from the very beginning and wants to get involved in this project and cannot wait for an exchange to list it. That's why we use decentralized exchanges. Now in this video, I want you to consider this more of a theoretical approach. I'm really trying to put the use of decentralized exchanges on your radar and get you guys up to speed that you can do it. Now, a couple of things that we need to point out. First of all, not every coin will be available on a decentralized exchange. We are looking at coins or tokens that are actually on existing networks. So, for example, any ERC20 token that is already on the Ethereum network, there's a high chance that the project will be on a decentralized exchange. If it's on the Binance Smart Chain, any of those coins will be on the Binance Smart Chain network and Polygon or Matic, same situation. Now there's a lot of other changes and there's a lot of other ways to get involved in it. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to talk about those three chains and we're going to talk about how to identify whether a coin is on the network that you are looking for. Now before I go any further, I'd just like to take a second to warn everybody about the plethora of scammers that we are finding in the YouTube comments. If you see someone asking you to WhatsApp them for further help, if you see someone impersonating me saying WhatsApp me for more information, guys, it is not me. I will never WhatsApp anyone in the comments. I will never reach out to anyone in the comments in a personal fashion. Beware, these are scammers. Also, you'll see a lot of people saying that they traded with Miss Jane or Mr. Oliver or whatever and how these guys are giving them dramatic returns. Once again, scammers, guys, I want this community to be safe. Do not respond to people in the comments that are promising you anything because what they are really going to do is steal your money. And then last of all, do not ask for support, whether it be altcoin trader support or any type of support in YouTube comments. Because you're simply opening yourself up for scammers to go, hey, I'll help you. Contact me privately and I'll steal all your money. But of course, they won't phrase it that way. Guys, let's just be aware of the scammers. Very often, it's not easy for our admin staff or myself to get rid of these comments before people see it. So just be safe out there. Let's get back, back into identifying how we are going to know if a coin is on a network and how we can actually buy it on a decentralized exchange. The first decentralized exchange I want to point out is an altcoin trader decentralized exchange, which is called AltSwap. Now, it's important to point out that AltSwap is powered by Dexkit. Dexkit is a third party. And of course, altcoin trader doesn't have much control of what happens on this decentralized exchange by the very nature that you're dealing with smart contracts. So when you are dealing with decentralized exchanges, this is like swimming in the deep end of the swimming pool with no lifeguard. There's no one that you can contact for support. There's no one that can monitor your transactions. You are on your own. And you might think that that is scary, and it certainly is, especially when you initially get into it, because if you make a mistake, there's no one you can go to. But it does have a lot of pros. In other words, everything you do is done only by you holding custody of your coins. So you are not dependent on any third party. And that in itself is exhilarating and a very powerful way to manage your cryptocurrencies. 
Now, before you trade on any decentralized exchange, you need to ensure that the decentralized exchange you are trading on is safe. And that's why I'm going to point out a couple of the main decentralized exchanges in this video so that you know what is safe. Certainly, AltSwap is a very good option. Now, with AltSwap, we have the three main chains already built into this DEX, so you can switch between them. We've got Ethereum, we've got Binance Smart Chain, and we've got Polygon. Now, with Ethereum, a lot of people rightfully say that it is impractical or unpractical to trade on Ethereum because the fees are astronomical. And I'll certainly agree with that. So I personally have not been trading on the Ethereum smart uh, on the Ethereum platform because at $100 for a trade, it just doesn't make financial sense. But the Polygon and the Binance Smart Chain are certainly very, very good options. So before you can actually get trading, you would need to download Metamask. Metamask is a Chrome plugin. These days it plugs into a lot of browsers, but I certainly would recommend either using Chrome or Brave browser. Downloading Metamask is very easy to do. I will leave a link in the description below for you to download Metamask. Once you've got Metamask set up, you have a wallet on your computer where you are taking custody of your coins. It's important to know that there is no support from this point. You have taken control of your own destiny. You are steering your own ship. Now, in MetaMask, you have to add the three networks. I have covered that in previous videos, but there's a lot of videos on YouTube that allow you to set up the Binance Smart Chain and the Matic or Polygon network on MetaMask, and that will allow you to trade between these three chains. Where you set that up in MetaMask, just very quickly, is you would click on your MetaMask account, you would click here, and you would go down to Custom RPC, fill in the settings, and that would get you set up for the three chains that we are going to be talking about in this video. Now let's take a practical example. I've had a lot of people say, baby doge, this is a coin that's going to pump, it's going to make us a lot of money. I personally wouldn't really recommend buying baby doge, but it's not for me to dictate what you want to buy in the decentralized space. So one of the safest ways to actually go about buying Baby Doge would be to go to a site like CoinMarketCap and actually do a search on Baby Doge. So let's do so. And we find Baby Doge coin. Now, once we click on that coin, we can immediately get an idea of what network it is. It's on the Binance Smart Chain and it gives a contract address. This is very important because this is how you're going to get to trade it on the Binance Smart Chain. What you would do is copy this contract address and then go over to the exchange, in this case AltSwap. We would go and we're going to trade BNB for Baby Doge. So we'd click on here, we'd paste in that address, hit enter, make sure that our wallet is on the Binance Smart Chain. Let's just do that again. Click on Baby Doge and there we would have it. Now, if we wanted to buy one um, BNB worth, we could see that we would get a ridiculously high number of Baby Doge coins. By simply clicking swap, these Baby Doge coins would go into your MetaMask and you would be able to add that token in the same way, import tokens, contact address, paste, and it would say Baby Doge, and you could add the custom token. That is how easy it is to buy these low cap gems on a decentralized exchange. With MetaMask, you have your 12 words, and that is the security. You also have a password, and it is done directly on your browser. I hope that makes sense to a lot of people. I'm going to give a quick warning here. Make sure that you don't go to exchanges that you've never heard of, exchanges that ask you to add permission to your MetaMask wallet that could essentially drain your wallet. This is important pro tip. Stick to exchanges that are well known and that are trusted. Let's go through the three exchanges, the three chains, and talk about the main exchanges. Uniswap was the first or, or arguably the blue chip um, decentralized exchange that came out that changed everything we know in trading. And this is on the Ethereum network. So this is Ethereum's biggest um, decentralized exchange. QuickSwap 
would be the biggest and the most well-known exchange on the Polygon, the Matic network. And then, of course, PancakeSwap is the biggest exchange on the Binance Smart Chain. So those are the three big blue chip exchanges that you can use. Of course, AltSwap allows you the benefit of using those three chains in a single interface. Another amazing thing about AltSwap is it's a decentralized exchange aggregator. What that means is that it will pull multiple decentralized exchanges to get you the best price and the best liquidity. It pulls over 14 different exchanges. And you don't even know, need to know those exchanges. You simply use AltSwap and get the best price and the best liquidity. If you were using Uniswap, for example, you have to get the price on Uniswap. But with AltSwap, you are looking at multiple exchanges. Now, another exchange that uses multiple exchanges and is also a aggregator is of course one inch one inch is the blue chip uh, dex aggregator that was launched an exchange that i have a lot of respect for and it is something that you will unlikely have any problems with and lastly if you're wanting to trade rands on a decentralized exchange you can make use of the south african stable coin called xr by going to the XR website, which is xr.co.za, I will leave a link in the description below. This is a great resource. You can see the contract address for the Ethereum blockchain. You can see the contract address for the Polygon blockchain. And by using these addresses, you keep yourself safe from scammers who've made fake coins. Also, by going to the projects page, you can see what projects the XR stablecoin is involved with. You can see on the three different networks and you can keep yourself up to date with the opportunities of trading on a decentralized exchange. Don't forget there are very often arbitrage opportunities. In other words, a coin is cheaper on a decentralized exchange than it is on altcoin trader or it's cheaper on altcoin trader than it is on a decentralized exchange, which means you can buy in one place and sell in another place and make a profit. Guys, I hope I've given you some understanding about decentralized exchanges and given you some type of resource that you can get on the path and be the master of your own destiny. Be the captain of your own ship and trade on these decentralized exchanges. Granted, this video doesn't cover every aspect that you might need to know to get started, but it'll certainly put you on the right track. If you like this type of contact, I'll ask you to smash the like button so that it can get out to as many people as possible. That's it from me. I'm out.